Hello everybody, my name is Mohamed Harris. I'm, I'm work, working with Wells right now with the Nursing Fathers Program. Nursing Fathers Program, I got involved with it. At the, current, at the time I was at school, I was a, a student at school, and I was working as the intern at the Center for Community Justice. And one day, one of, one of my supervisors called me to the office to meet somebody, and his name is Wells Brown. So me and Wells Brown started talking, and he would tell me that he was running a program called the Nursing Fathers Program. He looking for really looking for somebody to help him co-facilitate the program, and he basically said that I was a good candidate, cause um, I was in school at the time and I was studying human service and chemical dependency. And what got me involved with the Nursing and Fathers Program is that I always wanted to be a part of something bigger than myself, mm -hmm. and at the same time get back to the community. Because I feel like it's a real dire need. I feel like, in a way, co parenting was like non existence in the community that I grew up in. And I always, always forget, like, why only see the mother taking the son to school or the daughter to school? Why another father never was around? And it would make me think about when I got older, I could do something about it. But I never really had the means or opportunity to help my dream come true until I met Wells. So when we started, when we started the program together, actually it was pretty cool because we always like plan every day, and we worked from a, a curriculum that resonated with a, a man named Mark Perman out of Florida, which is the evidence-based program. And most programs that 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 they have when it comes to parenting classes is not evidence-based. So that's a, that's a unique program to bring to Schenectady, which they didn't have like that type of program in a while. So the program is, is like a three-week course, and each week we tackle different uh, sections of the book. And everybody who joined the program have a copy of the book that they can have and keep. And we, we go through it every day. Every Thursday we have the class. And then the facilitator have the facilitator book. But it's like it wasn't like a wrong or right answer when you come to answering the question. It's about working together and sharing our point of view or our struggle as an individual and as a collective in the community. Also, we before everybody who joined the program at the time, we do an intake, which is the AAPI. We we have them do an intake in the beginning and an outtake at the end, and that's how you show what the program affected or not. And every time we have a class, it, we feel like we know for a fact that a person benefited from it because a person's mindset would change. And you can see it changing every week when every time you have a class, they think and view stuff different because sometimes they might think this way about this is how our parent, this is how our co-parent. And do work and do the books, it helps them see that it's more of a give and take situation. It's not my way or the highway or the stigma of that, I make the bacon, you cook it, type scenario. So every time the class is over, me and Wells Brown, we um, kind of group up together to talk about and debrief and do assessments about what, what happened today, what could, we, what could we did better, what could have been done instead of what we did. Because we always try to find a way to make the program more friendly, and more easy to comprehend, more easy to digest, and also to give out to the community. Because the goal is to teach people to teach others. So everything we give to the people in the program, we want them to give out to others around them. And we encourage them to bring friends and family members to, to the class if they could. But the goal is to reunite parents. Because in a way, fathers has been neglected when it comes to the parenting throughout the history of like ever since like divorce happened most likely the judge would give the kids to the to the mother and not the father or the father might not be able to uh, provide for the kid because of situation of un un employment or unemployment so we also encourage them to empower themselves by learning what they can learn